Ubisoft have come out and said that they're working with police IRL in real life to go and arrest people for saying naughty things online. They've got a team that's going to monitor voice comms and text to see if all of us are towing the line. So like all censorship of speech, it starts from a place where they try and get everybody on board by making a pretty good argument and one that we can all agree with. And in this case, it's to prevent grooming, bullying and death threats. With there being appointed a 200 man, woman, whatever politically correct term you want to go with as to not be offended, team to monitor your in-game activity and if it becomes a little bit too toxic to notify the police and get them to investigate you. For now, they're saying it's because of bullying and death threats and essay jokes, but we all know where this goes and how these things start. Toxic, the word, can be defined as different things to different people. And some snowflakes might find something to be quote unquote extreme, whatever that word means anymore. So I wanna talk about two things. The first one is they are doing this as a, under a guise of helping people and preventing violence and preventing people having a bad time. And yes, we can go into the whole thing. Oh, it's a private company and they can do whatever they want. Like how some of y'all wanted to say about the social media platforms that were doing that and how we have proven that it's kind of a digital square that they have got the monopoly on. Therefore, it's publicly owned really and etc, etc. Um, but yeah, I get the fact that this is supposed to be a private company. Yes, they can do what they want on their platform. But do they really have the right to listen to everything that you're ever going to say and just wait to cherry pick or wait till you misstep something and then just come down on you and call for coughs? I don't know if they should have that kind of power. And secondly, how long before it's abused? And the answer, the hint, the answer here is it's not long. By that, I mean it work opposite where law enforcement actually dictates what the company can do and who they pick up on and who they listen to in voice comms. I mean that the 200 team might have a bias towards someone. Maybe someone is dating somebody and they can get into behind the scenes and puppeteer what that person does and who they ban. Maybe they will let their friends off. Maybe they have it in for one person that's politically aligned with someone they don't agree with and they go after this person and make sure that person is banned, pushing them towards getting a visit from the cops. I also mean little kids that are chucking a tantrum because they lost, being able to say, oh, this person did this to me and, and making a problem where there is no problem so that the person in question gets a visit from the police. There are a lot of ways this can go wrong. When I'm playing in game, I can see the beginnings of it already around the internet and reading articles about the toxic gamer community I'm finding it hard to understand how some of it is problematic a lot of what some of these articles are saying are just things that I've come to expect that are kind of funny now I mean maybe it's that I'm older but I just don't find there to be a problem when someone goes yeah you suck bye and then the game ends I just don't find it toxic when instead of GG at the end, which means good game, which is a total fucking lie most times, if someone wants to put SG as a joke, like, oh, that was a shit game, lols, I don't care, that's funny. And to see someone else come out and say, oh, you're reported. Like, really? Really? I can't wait till that person gets flipped off in traffic. You can't report someone for flipping you off in traffic. And that's what it's like. A fleeting moment where someone goes, look, I'm not happy with your behavior. Eat shit. Don't like it put the person on block, put them on mute so you don't have to see what they're writing to you, or unplug the computer, that could help too. I don't think I've felt really that someone was being really, really mean to me and it was personal or anything like that in game in a long, long time. Not in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. I'm sure there's probably been a couple of snide comments made to me um, at the dawn of the, uh, at the birth of online gaming, uh, I guess. Keep in mind, in the measure of gaming, I'm old as fuck, bro. But comments don't really phase me. It's not even a real world. And yeah, the last X amount of years, never any type of animosity towards me because of my gender slash sex, whatever the politically correct bullshit term is right now. And that's kind of something I wanted to address too, because I know I'm not speaking for everybody and maybe someone does have that example to give. But for me, no one's ever really said something like, oh, get back to the kitchen, you've got no business playing this. It's usually, you, you're conflating the two things. So if you suck at the game 
and someone wants to get at you, the only other thing they know about you is the fact that you're female because they can tell by your voice or your nickname or whatever's on the screen. That's why they're telling you get back to the kitchen. That's why they're saying something that's about your gender or sex because that's the only other characteristic they have besides the fact that you suck. In fact, on the contrary, if I happen to be on voice and someone recognizes that I am a female, other players have been nothing but nice. I don't see what these articles are talking about. I think it's a lot of bullshit to get clicks. If you got nothing in a few faults, the fastest way to get anybody to give you attention is to become a victim. And like the meme says, I'm cool. I honed my shit in a COD lobby. You can't say anything to me that's going to make me go off and cry somewhere. Beep! Oh, you, you know. <laughs> if I wanted to come back, I'd wipe it off your forehead. I don't really care. I can give as good as I get. I just choose not to. And that's not directly at me. It's nothing personal. Sometimes you have a bad game. Sometimes you have a shit run and somebody on your team is like, oh, good one, dickhead. I don't think I'd care even if somebody from around the world says, oh, I'm coming to your house. Oh, come on then, mate. <laughs> We're all adults here. Grow up. And if you don't like what someone's saying, there's a freaking mute button. There's a, there's a report button, if necessary, if that makes you feel better. There's also a block button. There are ways to stop people annoying you or insulting you or offending you. I've seen articles claiming that teabagging is one of the worst things that you can do to a teammate or a fallen opponent. I freaking love it. Like, I like it when it happens to me. It's so funny because it's so, like, old-fashioned, like, just, it's just funny. I don't mind it at all. I don't care about that. I don't care if someone calls me out for being shit at my aim that particular night. I don't care if they assume my sexual preference and call me the big G word. I don't care if they want to tell me that they slept with my mum last night. <laughs> I don't care. It's all game. I don't know if it's because I have brothers or that I have a lot of male friends as, as my closest best friends. Maybe the era and the time and the area I grew up in, it was just common knowledge that guys were douchebags to females for no reason. Sometimes it was even because they liked them. And unfortunately or fortunately, I've had the experience to actually experience derogatory use of words towards me and being in situations where it's not virtual, it's not on screen, and it's not with people that you won't ever hear from again. So maybe I have more of a thicker skin with that. I'm not too sure. But that is my experience on that side of gaming with the whole sexism thing. I haven't had it for a long, 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 long time. So much that I count it as forever because as I said, it hasn't even been in the last decade to 15 years, probably even more. And watching these compilations that some females do on video sharing sites, when I'm watching them, it's it's water off a duck's back. Like if that was said in front of me to me, I would just roll my eyes and keep playing. And if it bothered me that much, I'd get good so that these guys worshipped me and that I was the best in that lobby. And that is how we combated sexism back in my day <laughs> when I was growing up in school. I gravitated towards things that many males in my class wanted to do. So different sports, for example, rather than go play with dolls somewhere. And that's how I did it. I became tough enough that I could take their shit that they didn't really mean anyway and become better. Okay, so a couple of things that actually annoy me when playing games online against and with other people. Smurfing. If you don't know what that is, it's when someone has ranked up and they're really good at the game and they've had it forever and they're the best and they join your game and pretend that they don't know what's going on only to completely wipe the floor with everybody. It makes it kind of boring because they're always winning. It makes it kind of frustrating sometimes, depending on your mood. Sometimes as an adult, when you game, you know, you've come home from work and you've had a shit day or whatever, and it makes it just feel worse. That's kind of annoying. Not enough for me to really report somebody. I, I don't think I would do that. Um, 12 year old edgelords that think saying the N word is cool and they're so repressed in their real life that they just get online, they just keep saying it and annoying people and trying to insult people. And if you're off the opinion that that needs to be reported, there's always someone that will, so whatever. Uh, I don't like it when teammates talk down to you or they say something completely unfounded. So you're in a team with someone and someone will say, oh yeah, you obviously knew it this, you never did this or whatever. Normally I tell them to shut the fuck up and don't really care what they have to say. Just get better and show everybody else watching and everybody else on your team that this person's saying something that's complete bullshit. 
that's usually how I handle that. Sport and camping is so lame, it's so pathetic and it makes everything boring. That kind of annoys me. That's when another team will stand immediately outside your spawn point before you've had the chance to sort of drop in the game and get more weapons or get your bearings. As soon as you walk out, they take your head off with a sniper, <laughs> with a sniper rifle. And you know, given the day, sometimes these things do piss you off, but at the end of that day, you've got to realize you need to leave it there on the screen. It's not your real life. It's not your be all end all. You have uh, parents, you might have kids, you have a job, you have pets, you have the gym, you have your martial arts, you have the books you read. There is a vast world that is away from the computer and you need to put it in perspective. Take a breath, maybe have a break from these people sometimes and just move on with your life. Seeing a lot of articles come out and list these behaviors as reportable offenses makes me worry just for how humanity is. It's pretty snowflakey, don't you think? And I don't want it to get to the stage where very overly sensitive people who have perhaps had a bad day or having a bad life can get the police called on somebody for something they did in a virtual world that means nothing. Don't want to be one of those people that's asking you to sub and like, but if you feel like commenting or liking, that would help me out. It'll give me the power to do more of these episodes.